Hebner Huskies. My name is Dr. Tracy Gady, and I'm also known as Landon's mom, and I'm an emergency veterinarian. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I do and then introduce you to some of my patients. Um, so to become a veterinarian, I went through school just like you are, elementary, middle school, and high school, and graduated. Then I went to college, um, and then after college, I applied for veterinary school, and that was an additional four years, and I received my doctorate um, and was then a, a, a licensed veterinarian. Um, the things that I do as an emergency veterinarian is very similar to what um, your doctor would do if you went to the emergency room. So if your animal is sick and it's during the night or on the weekend when your um, vet normal veterinarian is closed, you can bring them to me and I can take care of them. Um, the other thing is sometimes animals are um, a little too sick and need to stay in the hospital um, and so your veterinarian might recommend that you come to the emergency room with your animal rather than coming to their office so if they are um, needing to stay in the hospital on fluids or get medicines during the night then we can hospitalize them at my clinic and take care of them all night long until they're well also, if they're just very injured, like if they get hit by a car, um, you know, we're uh, prepared to be able to take them in right away and care for them, whereas your vet has appointments scheduled throughout the day and it may be hard for them to handle that emergency. So that's what we take care of. A lot of the um, patients that I take care of that have an emergency um, are sick from things that could be prevented. So for example, they got out of the yard or they weren't on a leash and they got hit by a car or got into a fight with another animal, you know, that's a preventable injury. Um, so I see a lot of those kinds of things. Um, one thing that we see uh, in Texas a lot is heartworm disease and heartworms are worms that your dog or cat can catch through being bit by a mosquito, but there's a medicine that you can give your animals um, as a preventative to prevent them from getting heartworms. So I wanna show you guys, I have a heart from a dog that had heartworms. This dog passed away from heartworms. Um, and so this is his heart and all of this here are the worms that were living within his heart and it caused his heart to fail. Um, so that's a preventable illness that we could have protected that dog from, but unfortunately he cont contracted the heartworms and died. Um, another little neat thing that I get to do is surgery. So I do a lot of surgeries on animals that are in emergencies. And um, these right here are bladder stones. So they're little rocks. They're exactly like a, a rock you can find on the ground. But these were inside of a dog's bladder um, and they made it to where he couldn't go to the bathroom. He couldn't pee. So I had to take him to surgery and remove these. And so he was able to go to the bathroom again and felt a lot better. Um, so those are just some of the things that I, I've taken care of. And I wanna introduce you to some of my patients um, also, and I'm gonna, in the video coming up, uh, but know that all of the animals in this video um, I have made full recoveries and are feeling much better now. Um, and if you have any questions about being an emergency veterinarian or a veterinarian in general, you know, pass them on to your teacher and then she can ask me and I can get those answered for you. So this little kitty cat has an upset stomach and we're worried he ate something. So he's getting an ultrasound. Dr. Hinkle's looking inside of him with the ultrasound so she can see if he ate something. And so he's a little nervous, so we put a little towel that has a nice scent on it over, over his face so he doesn't feel stressed out. And Dr. Sarmer just holds him still so that he can be nice and calm. And he's being a very good boy. So that's a tube to help her breathe while she's in surgery. So we're going to tie it in. Hand's going to 
mark it so we know how far it's in. Okay, so we tie it in place so it doesn't come out. And then she's going to hook up to this anesthetic machine so she can breathe. And we're going to give her some gas to help her stay asleep. Pam's listening on both sides to make sure she can hear air moving. And we know our tube is in the right place. All right. All right. So the kitty cat that we just did surgery on had a whole bunch of hair in its stomach. And it was making him vomit and not feel good. So we just did the surgery, removed the hairball. Now the other doctor's in there closing up the surgery and we'll wake him up. And he should feel a lot better now. This puppy ate a bunch of chocolate. He's eating it. Puppy shouldn't eat chocolate. It smells like brownies though. Look at all the chocolate he ate. It looks like turkey. What does it smell like? It smells like brownies. It smells like brownies. Mm -hmm. This little guy is not feeling well. And so he's grinding his teeth. And bunnies do that when they when they hurt. So I need to figure out where he's hurting. It's okay, it's okay. I need to figure out where he's hurting and then give him some medicine. But we don't want to stress him out, so we're just gonna move slow with him. So this puppy dog's here. He has a lump on his elbow. Here, let's turn this way. And it's gotten bigger. And it's draining. Probably causing him some pain. So we're going to give him some medicine, see if we can't make him feel better. So these are some x-rays from a kitty cat who's been vomiting. So um, she likes to chew on things, so we took an x-ray to make sure she didn't look like she had eaten something that could get stuck. And her x-rays look good. When we take x-rays of animals, we do one of them laying on her side. So here's her backbone and her legs, her back legs. Here's her stomach and her bladder. And this is her colon and that's poop in there and that looks all normal. And this is the rest of her intestines and her kidneys. And then we take an x-ray of her laying on her back and that's this one. So this is her backbone right here and her hips and um, her bladder, her kidneys are right here her colon, and her intestines, but everything looks really good. So we're going to give her a shot to help make her stop throwing up, and I'm going to give her some special food to make her stomach feel better. So this little baby has a virus called Parvo, and I have to wear this gown because it's contagious, and I want to make sure I don't have it on my hands and clothes and give it to another baby. So, I have to do my physical exam on her. She's not eating. So this tube right here, and I know. So that's why she had that little cone on. This tube right here is feeding her through her little nose. So it goes down her nose into her tummy, and there's food going through it so that we can feed her. And then this right here is an IV catheter, so we're giving her fluid. So this is like her drinking water, and then this is her eating her food. I'm going to listen to her heart. No. Don't Yes. Okay. Sounds good. We also give her all of her medicine through here, too. So that way, she doesn't have to get poked with any needles when she has to get a shot. Okay. 
And because she was wanting to take her tube out, she has to wear this little comb so that she won't mess with it. Now she can go back into her little house. What you got here? Um, this is a boa constrictor <laughs> who's here to get his door. antibiotic injections. So he's it's hard to get a snake to take a pill, huh? Yes. <laughs> Obviously, he's very big. Um, he's very nice, but... You know, he's just not very happy to be here. Alrighty. That's to be expected. So you're gonna give him a shot? I'm gonna give him a shot. You know, maybe. career day at school and they asked me to do a video. Oh. So I think they would like to meet Shaggy. <laughs> good job. He was good for his shot.